Well, OneOwnerCarGuy.com here again, and I'm showing you the car in the sun. And I'm telling you, no matter where you go, I'm at a little school here, and all the kids pointing, and then on the way home, the old people that are go taking a walk pointing, and you know, anybody you run across kind of points and stares and gives you that look and gives you a thumbs up. You get a lot of thumbs up. Um, Miami Vice, yes, agree. Gives you that look. Beautiful in the sun, beautiful in the shade. This car is just absolutely nice. And it's very easy to take the top up and down and all that good stuff. What I'll probably do is this once around, and then I'll go ahead and pop the top down on the ride home. Um, this thing is too spec pretty much, man. I don't know how close to spec it is, but I know that I went over where some guys work on cars and they chop hydraulics into all these Lincolns and everything. Nobody could tell. I mean, you go to a Ferrari Testarossa, I mean a Ferrari Testarossa dealer, a Ferrari dealer, they could tell. Um, your friends will be able to tell. If you tell them, um, and I would tell them, because this has got its own uniquenesses that make it better than a Ferrari. Better than a Ferrari, you say? Well, yes, because there's one thing about this one that really, really, really is neat. One owner car guy can afford to work on this car, and that's pretty slick. I want to take this top down, and it's a simple clip in here. You flip them out and flip them down, just like that. And now it's loose. Same thing on the other side. Okay, really easy to do. I'm just going to get these clips off, and I was having a little bit of a time of that. A um, little unbuckle here. And I don't think the other side is buckled in the same. Oh yeah, it was. But it came unbuckled. <laughs> Flip that behind the seat. Layer down. Oh. Hang on now. There's an extra button there that I was forgetting. And I do have a hard boot that goes on this. So now, might as well walk around again. And by the time it's said and done, I don't know how many walk arounds I've done, but it'll be a few. The car looks good, I love the car. I absolutely love the car. And if there's one that I could keep in the past while, it would likely be this one. I'm gonna give you a test drive on the way back to the house here. Get out of here, I guess school's letting out. I love that view right up there. And this is the worst view on most cars for me. I hate that back view. But it looks bad. So, I'm gonna take off, do it to it, and I'll show you the interior back at the house. And it's very nice too. What's my keys? And I don't know which way I put the videos in here. But I'll show you on the auto check, one owner, and I actually called the guy up, 1337 Sport of 50, I actually called the gentleman up and he um, checks out on the mileage. He actually got the car, built the car. The guy's a cosmetic surgeon in Beverly Hills. And he actually built the car. And it's a nice car. I'm very happy with it. Gauges everywhere. Just a nice driver. Air suspension. Make it nice for getting out of places like this. For sure. It's got a nice rumble to it. And yes, I know, if you're a Ferrari purist, I'm sure that it does not sound exactly like a real Ferrari. I'm not saying it does. But it's got a nice feel, and it's got a nice amount of power. 
drives great. Oneownercarguy.com. And man, people go by just look. Parking lot, I come out from the liquor store, get a rock star. Three people around the car. I come out to get in it yesterday in front of one of my yards. Two people it showed up at the new lot in Lakeside. Cleared the whole place, man. Everybody came and looking at it. I don't know everything about this car. I know this. You have a place up here to store stuff. You have a equalizer here and you have a deck in the door. I've got some kind of thing on over here. So I'm going to get out here. I'm going to leave you looking at this. Huh, there you go. I'm actually watching the YouTube Comedy Week. Yes, sir. YouTube Comedy Week. Well, this car is nice as can be. Seats are beautiful. Um, let me show you what I meant on the, the outside side door handle is right here. And it just needs some adjustment with this wire that we haven't got done right now. And I've been using the insides. Um, let me get rid of this. This is the tail for the horse. You can get a new one for 70 bucks or so. And this has something to do with, I don't know. Wow, man. A lot of this stuff, I just don't know. Um, like this. There's a switch here for computer diagnostic. And... I don't know. I really don't know. It's an air gauge there. I know it's for the air, obviously. Um, got the back open here. It's in great shape. There's for your hard top to click in. And this is. What's in there? Oh, that's your ECM, I believe, under there. God, these seats feel nice and tight. This piece here is a little loose on this. And you can see there's a clip piece. And you can redo that if you want, but my phone accidentally called my mom here. So that's not cool. Um, on this side, see you got that piece there, you got an Orion Ferrari Extreme, it's an Orion XR, XTR, got a nice box back there, that's cool, amps under the hood, loving the Ferrari floor mats, the seats are in great shape. This is nice leather, too. Speakers everywhere. 
And these here, there's plenty of room, but it make it hard to get in if you're a big person. The miles are right according to auto check and everything. Dash is in great condition. It has a very nice Euro feel to it. Okay. I'm not hiding nothing there, I just want to show you the auto check. And you know, while I'm at it, you got these speakers here. And the seat's nice. In great shape. It's just got a little custom made pillow there. It actually fits in there. It's really nice. For just a little extra padding over that Euro feel. The Euro look and the Euro feel is one thing, but it definitely has a certain uncomfortability to it. God, this thing is nice. It's clean. And I'm trying to get you all the angles here. Angle of the dangle. And I'm going to have to put my camera up here. I'm sorry. Like I say, the guy's a plastic surgeon. The plastic surgeon, uh, Whatever I said the first time. See I'm unzipping that right there? My camera's gonna fall in if I do it that way. A cosmetic surgeon, there you go. Eyes and everything from what I found on him. Antenna, and amp and radio stuff. All kinds of relays and everything for the suspension. It's wired in through some valves and stuff and it all works cool. Um, this is the deal. There's some tape on this. I think I showed you this yesterday. But now you've seen it again. Ain't nothing else I can really say about this car except that you should be driving it. You should own it. You know, let's flip up these headlights before we get any farther along here. Yeah, baby. Yeah, you know, that's the one thing we didn't clean up, by the way. I got a rag here, but no water. But they'll clean up real nicely. We just didn't flip them up. Oh, chip there in that one. A couple chips in that one. They shine up nice, man. That looks good. goes off once your suspension gets all <laughs> cool stuff. In fact, you could turn it off if you wanted manually. I think that's for the suspension. I'm not sure. I need to make sure and picture it all the way up. Huh, I don't know which way I did it. Well, tires are great on it, man. Just great. That is the one owner car here. Hope you enjoyed. Don't know how I clipped it all together, but if you're looking for one of these, stop it, you found it, call me, Nathan, 406-544-6919. Absolutely beautiful car. Yeah. Oh man, it's almost up now. I'm gonna take it up there and you can see it came up a good ways too. I'm gonna take it up there and take some pictures like that. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Thanks for watching. BeaglesPocket.com. That's about all I got to say. We'll talk to you. Clipping one more in here, and I don't know, I, didn't, I know I didn't show you under the hood, and I've already clipped it open, and it's got that hole there. You got an amp on the front of this, in between there, and it's real nice with the fan, keeps it cool. Um, custom liner covering up this. You really don't have a boot or anything in this. Um, you've just got our boot um, trunk type area or anything in this 
what you've got is the, um, let me move this for you. All your wiring for the decks. Now, <clears throat> your disc changer's under here, and this moves rather easily. But what this is, and it's covered up by this, what this is is the backs to, hang on a sec here now. Let me get this thing back together. This is hard to do with a camera. Hang on. Let me get this back in here. You gotta take pictures too. And such. And boom. Okay, that's back in there. But this guy put his stereo in the door. And that is super cool. Space saving type thing. Now I haven't figured out all the buttons. There's stuff on this car I don't even know about. Um, the Ferrari mat there is a little messed up. You might want to buy a new one or something. And this speaker is a little loose, as you can tell. Um, it sounds great. Um, it's in great shape. Everything on it is really nice. And it is fun to drive, like I said there. Well, that's that. And if you got any questions, 406 544 6919. You can reach me anytime. And I was gonna show you right there. A little dink on the wheel. This panel here can use just a teeny bit of adjustment, possibly. And I went around the car, showed you anything on it. A couple little a chip there, a couple little stress marks, a little stress crack there. But aside from the couple little things like that, it's beautiful and ready to go. And be driven. And on the cheap, mind you, on the cheap. Well, oneownercarguy.com. Like, comment, subscribe. I always get weird stuff, cool stuff, and I sell it cheap. Well, as you can see, the air is all aired up to 100 PSI. This thing is really cool with the equalizer all bouncing and stuff. I wish I could show you the radio working. This display doesn't work here. You can still use all the buttons, but he's got the display. He's got it all wired in a little different. Um, different switches like I showed you yesterday. This one here should be glued on the back of that a bit. But they've been, this one's a little warped. Straighten it out first. Windows work fine. Here's your mileage. And gauges, the lights, I don't know exactly how to work them. I had them on working just fine. And I don't know what button it was. So, oh, and then I found all these. And I don't know what all these are for. There's three more here on the door. It's an awesome car. I absolutely love it. I'm still learning things about it. I know there is alarm. It's got all the lights and stuff. And when I do this, the light comes on here. But it's not arming. So might be a switch inside that needs to be set. That is a latch I told you about. Well, one owner car guy. And if you want something like this on the cheap, well, here you go. It don't get much nicer than this. This car runs and drives. Somebody's calling to get it already. I just got the whole ad together. Well, I'm going to take this phone call and talk to them. Go ahead. Call anytime, 406-544-6919. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. OneOwnerCarGuy.com.